Hi there, my name's Len Starvik, and I'm the artist behind Mountain View Art. Abalone is a, uh, a shellfish that crawls around in the ocean. It's something that used to be able to commercially harvest, and they banned that, and then it was recreational harvest. And in the last few years, it's been uh, shut down. You can't collect any more of it. You know, I was born on the coast there in San Francisco, and uh, my parents had a uh, restaurant bar, uh, and uh, we would always go over there every weekend. And uh, so I started diving abalone as a kid and uh, dove it all my life. My brother and cousin, we'd get together and, and collect it. And uh, I, I have plenty. I probably have five, ten years worth uh, to make art with. It's been something that uh, is, seems to be taken off, uh, getting some custom orders, and uh, I enjoy it. It's therapeutic. I used to take it and beat it with a hammer and a wet towel so the dust wouldn't fly and the dust isn't good to breathe at all. And then I went to a uh, 3,000 pound steamroller and you doing three or 400 pounds. And I'd wait for a rainstorm and that way it's wet again. And then once it's crushed, I eventually ended up using a cement mixer. And uh, I'd take a couple of handfuls of river rock, let it spin for about a week, five to seven days, and then just wash it and uh, take it out and repeat the process. First, I would start with the repurposed wood, but this is barn wood, it's local. I rip it down and then I dado it so I can put it together with the framer and, and then take a piece of wood and I'll take a pattern and draw it out and that guides my Dremel and my router and I route it out and, and then I'll put it in the, the frame with silicone and I'll do two maybe three passes uh, in a period of a day or two to make it waterproof so when you put your pieces back in there and pour resin on it it's not going to leak out and so once it's set level and then overnight it cures and then put some hardware on the next day and clean up any dribbles that are there the bigger pieces Take a little longer, you know, uh, but uh, uh, you just puzzle piece it in. And if it's a fish or a bird and it has an eye, then I'll start with the eye and go the rest of the way. Finishing the, the art is probably the best part, and, but when the resin goes in, it always has bubbles. And you put the heat to it, and all of a sudden a flash of clarity opens up, and it just says, wow, you know, that looks cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do custom pieces that are uh, small and uh, you can put in your suitcase uh, a tourist can bring home or I can make a, a, a 55 pound piece custom to whatever you want uh, you can put it on your wall and in your foyer or uh, uh, the bathroom whatever <laughs> um, I like custom pieces and people uh, often will say uh, do it whatever you want, whatever you think, you know, you're the artist, just do what you think is right. And that's what I did with the, the six fish on the walnut, that was fun. It almost looks like they're um, migrating upstream. You know? It just makes a statement uh, and uh, a lot of people will walk right up to it and touch it because it has dimension and it's not flat. Nine out of ten people that come into a booth when you have an art show uh, will, will reach out and touch it. and it's. Uh, it's entertaining to see that. All right, I'd love to work with you. Uh, let me know if you're interested. There's lots of ways to get a hold of me on the website. Uh, there's links, there's phone calls. Uh, you can email me. Uh, you got a custom piece, we can do it. We'll get her done.